So it seems like every time I keep coming on here, I'm telling y'all I'm doing garden maintenance. And then I'm also telling you I'm taking mental notes of what needs to be done. But I'm noticing a pattern about myself that I'm hoping to change. And it looks like I don't see anything that has changed like on the patio. Never mind. Let's just go ahead and get started with the video today. <laughs> so much for stopping by today there was no shade in sight so i'm just kind of tucked in in the corner over here and so i want to talk about white flies today that is a common pest for us here in coastal georgia and i want to tell you how we kind of reduce the population on our plants and try to eliminate it because for some odd reason I never see them until I start planting my stuff and then they want to come and rear their ugly heads and think that they are going to wreak havoc on my plants. But there are some things that you can do to eliminate them and kind of do a preventative uh, spraying on them. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that. But before we do, um, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and then tap the bell so that you can receive notification. And also y'all, I have talked to so many people like on Instagram and DMs, go ahead and download our free ebook because when I talk to people, they're a little bit intimidated by gardening just because of all the things that they hear and they think it's going to be so many hours of work. But download the ebook because if you can get those fundamentals, then you can create a beautiful garden, whether you want to do flower and vegetables, whether you want to do flowers or vegetables or herbs, no matter what type of garden you want to have, you'll have the foundation. So I'm going to put the link in the description so make sure you go ahead and download that today okay so we switched out one of our patio containers and so i want to go over white flies now if you remember we had our top hat um tomatoes in here and i will try to flash a picture i have really enjoyed them but the gr the growth which this normally happens in the uh summertime once you kind of get over that 90 degree temperature, the growth for tomatoes really starts to slow down. Like I know tomatoes love heat, but they don't love it like that. And so for us, a lot of things start picking back up in uh, kind of like September or late August um, when we start having a little bit cooler weather. And so I've also had people ask me about the way I grow my tomatoes. So a few years back, I started doing this tomato, whether they're patios toma patio tomatoes or whether we grow them out in the actual garden. What I try to do with my tomatoes is stick to the main, um, one main stem. So what I do as the plant continues to grow, I take the bottom leaves off because I don't want all of that leaf production. What we want is we want fruit production that is uh, coming on. And so the way to kind of redirect some of that energy to making fruit is I use one main stem. I keep it pruned. Uh, make sure we don't have any suckers. Now, if you want to, you can let uh, the suckers get a little bit bigger. It's totally up to you because you can also take those suckers when they get a little bit bigger and you can make new plants out of them. But um, since we're so late in the season now, um, what I'm doing is just using that main stem and just making sure that they put energy in fruit production. And then you also want to keep it fertilized really good. And you also want to make sure you are consistently keeping it water, especially in this heat. And so what I also did in this patio, y'all know I got to put my vegetables with flowers because I want to bring in those pollinators. This is a Calibracoa that we got on clearance. Um, we had some red Chinese cabbage, with the, which is really amaranth, um, that we planted right here. But what we're talking about today is the white flies. And this is why I'm talking about it, because they were trying to attack my oregano here. And so first, let me go over a few things about the white flies, because many people think they're little and they're harmless, but they can um, do damage to your plants. 
Okay, so here is the thing. Um, and I put an Instagram story on. You really need to uh, make sure that you check on your garden. Y'all, I when we didn't have AC for, what was it, like three or four days, I did not go outside. And so we had a cucumber that was like 16 inches long. It was so big. And I'll try to flash a picture up there. But I know that's not what the video about, but I'm saying that because you have to check on your garden because that's when you can kind of register in your mind. If you see something going on with your, with your plants, you'll kind of know when it started. So white flies, a lot of times you are not going to see them, but like if you uh, take your hand and kind of brush the plant, or if you go look up under your leaves, you'll see a bunch of white flies that just kind of disperse. And I did see maybe like a couple because we have been treating this oregano. So white flies, once again, can really cause damage to your plants over time. And the way that they can do that is they really suck. What they do is they suck on the juices of the plant. And so I'm going to try to get a little bit closer because I was noticing some of my leaves. Can y'all see how it's like spotted right there? Were starting to discolor. So they suck the juices of the plant. And again, I don't know where they stay. I don't know if they stay in the trees or if they just have some place that they sleep. But I do know that they can overwinter, but it just seems like when I get ready to plant my stuff, then they just want to start bothering my stuff. It's so many trees in the back of our property that they can go suck on the leaves in nature. And I don't know why, what makes my plants so good to them that they want to continue to do it. But I got something for them and I'm going to show you all in a minute. So they suck on the plants, but then let me tell you what really can cause uh, harm to your plants if you don't get them up under control is they can carry viruses. So they'll go suck on the leaves of another plant that may be in distress, that may have viruses, and then they come to your plants and then they transmit those viruses to those plants. And like I said, some ways you can tell is you can start looking at your leaves. Um, they can also, um, your leaves may also start yellowing shriveling up and then they also might like fall out and then if you have a plant like the tomato plant if you don't get the white flies under control then guess what they will do they will stunt the growth of um, your plants so in the instance of my tomatoes they will stunt the growth and I may not have as many tomatoes as I could have had if I had gotten this under control okay so when you're treating any plant for um, pest there's different levels to doing um, treatment. So the first thing you would do is start off with just a nice steady stream of water, not too hard where it's gonna like damage your plants, but a nice steady stream. And then you just kind of wash off the plant real good. And you'll see the white flies like dispersing everywhere. But let me tell y'all, if I see a lot of white flies, I'm skipping level one and I'm going straight to level two and this is my level two which what I do is I mix the insecticidal soap according to um, the the package here they have so many uses for this and so I'll mix it according to what it says on the side but this is the Dr. Bonner's 18 and one unscented um, pure Castile soap and is made with organic oils and I use this when I make an insecticidal soap, but what I do is I take it a step further is I add a little bit of neem oil according to how much I'm spraying. So right here, this is just a spray bottle, but I have made it like in a one gallon sprayer and I'll make it up like that and just um, have it ready. But I just made it in the spray, but what I do is I'll have to calculate it and you just go and add according to how much you're going to make, add a little bit of neem oil. And let me tell y'all a tip. This is what I do anytime I spray for anything is I like to wait till um, the bees have went in. Again, I don't know where they sleep at, but um, I can pretty much tell when they have slowed up or just about to go to bed for the night because I can just look at my plants and they won't, um, they won't be around because Although this is organic, you still do not want to harm your beneficial 
uh, pollinators. So I always sp um, spray like in the evening time. I know um, a lot of people say don't uh, water or get your plants wet at night, but I I rather do it that way and I just don't want to harm the beneficial pollinators because what I need them to do is come and pollinate my tomato plants and my cucumber plants so that I can have fruit. So that's why I do it at night. But let me show you what I found at our local grocery store. Now is a good time that a lot of stores are putting garden things on sale. They're putting perennials on sale. Um, I haven't been to the stores like I really want to because I told myself stop buying plants because I still got about seven more that I have to find a place to plant, but we, we won't even talk about that. Let's not even go into that. But um, let me show you what I found. And I wish somebody would have called me and told me that they had marked it down um, because I would have gotten more by the time I got there. And let me tell you, I looked everywhere. You know how people hide stuff. I looked all over the store and didn't see it. So I just got the last one, but this is what I have been treating with. And it actually seems to be working. And I notice um, that the white flies are diminishing. And just a real quick point again, y'all, you can't just do this one time and then think they're just gonna go away. Now it'll probably decrease the white fly population, but that's why you have to keep coming out here. And what I've done is I do like a, a weekly spraying. I'll come out here, I'll shake my leaves just to see. Like I sprayed last week and it was a lot. And so I just ran my hand across the oregano and I did see a few, not as many as last week. So like tonight, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and spray again and try to spray when it's not um, rain in the forecast as well because we actually have a tropical storm coming through so I don't know if I'll do it tonight or just wait till when it's over um, but yeah try to spray when it's like in the evening and when no rain is in so that that neem oil and the, and the insecticidal soap can really work on your plants okay so this is what I found at the store and it was 75% off and again nobody call me but um, this is Dr. Earth. It's a vegetable garden insect killer, and it is for organic um, use, safe for people, safe for pets. But I wanted to show it to you because it kills aphids, white flies, mites, caterpillar, earwigs, so big, so bugs, beetles, and more. But um, I have been using this, and it it is working. Like I said, I do have to do another spray, and I did see a few. But what this has in here is. Um, like your different oils in there and I'll just um, kind of get close so you all can see it I shake it well and I just do a good spray and again I wish I had have known that it was on um, clearance and normally if everything wasn't going on like it is I will go to multiple stores in different areas and check but I'm not even going to do that I'll just do this and then once that's gone I go back to my neem oil regimen because that works um, as well but I just love 75% off sales y'all know that I love clearance so I hope this helps you. Um, comment below. Let me know if you have white flies or if you ever had them and how do you treat them um, so that the whole community can get some ideas and know because one, one is several ways you can treat them, but this is just the way that I use that I notice a big difference on. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I hope you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you are not a subscriber, we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.